If I ask you what you know SpaceX for, you might answer Starship Falcon 9 or even Falcon Heavy. But there's one project that actually keeps the company alive, and it's not even about launching rockets. It's Starlink. This is the part of SpaceX that brings in steady money and funds their billion-dollar projects every year. And recently, SpaceX got another big contract, thanks to Starlink. This deal could change everything for the company moving forward. We'll break it all down in this video. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on Starship and all of SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. Texas just approved a $17.3 million grant to help SpaceX expand its Starlink manufacturing site in Bastrop, a city just outside Austin. This funding, from the Texas Semiconductor Innovation Fund, is meant to support the development of semiconductors and boost satellite production. The expansion will add over 1 million square feet to the facility, a significant increase that will help SpaceX ramp up production and meet growing demand for its Starlink service. The Bastrop site already plays a crucial role in the production of Starlink ground equipment, small satellite dishes and other hardware that connect users to SpaceX's global internet network. As of now, SpaceX builds around 15,000 Starlink terminals daily. With this expansion, production will not only increase in quantity, but also in efficiency, allowing for faster production and lowering costs. This growth is critical. Because Starlink isn't just another side project for SpaceX, it's a major revenue driver. In fact, the profits generated by Starlink are directly funding SpaceX's most ambitious projects, including Starship and Falcon 9. The satellite internet service generates around $1.4 billion in revenue each year, which plays a key role in covering the high costs of SpaceX's rocket programs. To put this in perspective, the $1.4 billion annual profit from Starlink is enough to cover the cost of approximately 30 Falcon 9 launches each year. Given that each Falcon 9 launch costs around $60 million, this revenue can fund a significant portion of SpaceX's launch operations. But it doesn't stop there. Starlink's profits are also helping to fund the development of Starship. While Starship's development is incredibly expensive, with costs reaching several billion dollars, Starlink is one of the key funding sources keeping the program afloat. This recent expansion comes at a time when Starlink's importance is only growing. By early 2025, Starlink was already approved for use in nearly 100 countries, providing fast internet in areas where traditional service either doesn't exist or is too slow. It's been used in disaster zones, conflict areas, and remote parts of the world. And beyond personal internet access, Starlink is also becoming a tool for governments, airlines, and military agencies. In 2024, almost 70% of all SpaceX Falcon 9 launches were dedicated to Starlink missions. The company isn't just launching satellites, they're launching entire batches every week, working toward a plan to deploy over 12,000 satellites in the near future. And they're not stopping there. There's talk of pushing that number as high as 40,000 in the coming years, if they can get international approvals. The Texas government clearly sees SpaceX as a long-term strategic asset. Governor Greg Abbott praised the latest investment in Bastrop as a major win for Texas, calling it a key move to boost innovation and strengthen the state's position as a leader in advanced technology. He emphasized that the project wouldn't just bring over 400 new high-skilled jobs to the region, it would also cement Texas as a national force in the growing semiconductor sector, which has become a top priority for U.S. security and independence in global supply chains. But what makes Texas's support so important is how different it is from what SpaceX experienced in California. SpaceX was originally founded and headquartered in Hawthorne, California, a city in the Los Angeles area. For years, California was the center of SpaceX's rocket development and manufacturing operations. But over time, the relationship between SpaceX and California's government became strained. High taxes, strict regulations, slow permitting processes, and what Musk described as overbearing bureaucracy started to weigh heavily on his companies. By 2021, tensions had escalated. 
Musk began moving operations and headquarters of several companies, including Tesla, the Boring Company, and eventually SpaceX out of California. He relocated to Texas, and so did many of his ventures. One major reason for the move was how quickly Texas welcomed SpaceX with open arms. The state offered business-friendly policies, lower taxes, faster permit approvals, and a strong desire to lead the future of American spaceflight and technology development. Meanwhile, in California, things were going in the opposite direction. In 2021, the California Department of Fair Employment and Housing sued Tesla, another Musk-led company, over alleged workplace discrimination. Musk called the lawsuit politically motivated and claimed the state was increasingly hostile to innovation. While that lawsuit didn't directly involve SpaceX, it added to Musk's frustration with California's regulatory environment. And in 2023, the U.S. Department of Justice filed a lawsuit against SpaceX itself, accusing the company of employment discrimination in its hiring process for refugees and asylees. Musk publicly pushed back, claiming the lawsuit was absurd and that hiring decisions were based on federal export control laws, not bias. Today, the result is clear. SpaceX has moved a major part of its infrastructure, launch operations, testing, and manufacturing, to Texas. Boca Chica, located at the southern tip of the state, is now home to Starbase, the development and testing site for Starship. In central Texas, SpaceX's facility in Bastrop is rapidly expanding and is now receiving state-level support to grow even further. Tesla's Gigafactory near Austin is also a sign of where Musk is placing long-term bets. In contrast, California has seen a slow but steady erosion of its role as the center of Musk's operations, and, more broadly, a decline in its appeal to tech and manufacturing giants. This isn't just a SpaceX trend. A lot of other companies have been leaving California, too. Between 2018 and 2021, over 370 large companies moved their headquarters out of California, according to a report from Stanford University's Hoover Institution. That's about six major companies leaving the state every month. Most of them are going to Texas. Why? The main reasons are high taxes, strict business regulations, expensive real estate, and long delays in getting government approvals for construction and expansion. Many business owners, including Musk, have said it's just too hard to operate in California compared to other states. This has cost California a lot of money. It's estimated that the state has lost over $75 billion in yearly economic activity because of companies leaving or reducing their presence. In 2021, Tesla officially moved its headquarters from Palo Alto, California, to Austin, Texas. Around the same time, SpaceX started focusing more on Texas, too. In South Texas, the company built Starbase to develop and test Starship rockets. And now, with the $17.3 million grant from the Texas government, they're expanding their Starlink production site near Austin. Texas is giving companies like SpaceX what California couldn't, low taxes, faster approvals, and more support for building big projects. That's why Musk now calls Texas home and why most of SpaceX's big plans are happening there instead of California. Meanwhile, Texas has made big gains from supporting SpaceX. According to recent reports, SpaceX's presence in the state, especially at its Starbase facility in Cameron County, has already generated over $800 million in local and state revenue through taxes and related business activity. On top of that, the company has invested more than $400 million into building over 1 million square feet of manufacturing space and nearly 330,000 square feet of office space. Tourism is another win for Texas. Starship launches at Starbase have drawn in over 20,000 tourists and 16,500 official visitors in just one year. Local hotels, restaurants, and businesses have all benefited from the crowds coming to see SpaceX operations up close. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.